This episode is sponsored by Skims. If you know me and Aaron, we're basically always wearing Skims. Sometimes my entire outfit, underwear, and socks included are Skims. Like, do I have a problem? Maybe. Um, but the best thing about Skims right now is their bras. I'm not a huge bra person. I don't like to wear bras. But sometimes, tragically, you do have to wear a bra. Something is a little see-through. If you don't want your nip showing, you know the whole spiel. And I tried Skims bras and they are so comfortable. I literally don't even mind wearing bras now because I'm like, well, they just feel like nothing. The wireless form t-shirt bra and the fits everybody plunge bra are definitely my favorites they are my go-to's i like to wear them under sheer shirts or you know just pop on a nude color and you're good to go and again like everything at skims they are so soft they're so comfortable they've got stretch to them like i can't recommend them enough shop skims bras at skims.com now available in 62 sizes 30a to 46h Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. And if you haven't yet, this is super important. If you haven't yet, be sure to let them know we sent you. After you place your order, select podcast in the survey and select our show in the drop down menu that follows. This podcast is sponsored by Factor. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre prepared, chef crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie. And and more. The best thing about Factor is it shows up to your door. Most of them take about two minutes to heat up with a microwave and they are freaking delicious. <laughs> Head to factormeals.com slash onlyfriends50 and use code onlyfriends50 to get 50% off. That's code onlyfriends50 at factormeals.com slash onlyfriends50 to get 50% off. I'm just going to need you to whisper for the episode because my baby is going down. This will be an ASMR episode. Oh, Paris, your breath. <laughs> Ooh. Whispering over. Oh, child. Whispering over. Aaron, I, I have some, some tea. Words. I have some tea about book talk that I just stumbled upon today, oh sort of. And it's somebody we know very well. <laughs> so. B about book talk. Well, you'll see. Somebody commented on our um, last podcast because we had like a big book talk section. Oh, right. And they said, I loved Housemaid until I found out the author rips off all her books. I've seen this. Oh, you have? Okay, so I looked it up and hold on. Yeah, I think people I were, I haven't, I didn't see it on our comments, but people were literally like, she just like steals her ideas from like other authors. Yes, I was reading, I guess there's Farida. like a whole, there's like a book subreddit, of course. Oh, classic, <laughs> so perfect. a year ago, someone made us. Someone Farida. we know very well. Very well. We do know her very Wasn't well. Wasn't expecting it to take this <laughs> turn. I know, just an author. <laughs> It says, Frida McFadden, I just finished reading The Housemaid and the plot is so similar to The Last Mrs. Parrish. Last week, I read another book of hers, The Wife Upstairs, um, and that is almost identical to Verity. Is it just me or did you think all the same? Did you continue reading it? Did you like it? The Wife it? Upstairs blah, blah, blah. is a Frida book? Yes. Which That's interesting because The Housemaid could have been The Wife Upstairs. No, literally. Okay, so then I scrolled a little bit and someone, because I wanted more details. I was like, how similar are we talking? Like sometimes plots get lost in the sauce, mm -hmm. you know, like. I could see, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of actually complicated to make a book exactly like Verity, but totally. somebody go, it is the, ex somebody goes, it is the exact same book. I was on the bit, I was on a bit of a reading kick and read The Housemaid first and finished it in one day. I started reading um, the last, I started reading The Last Mrs. Parrish the day after and stayed up all night reading it because Frida's book is a carbon copy. Every oh. single twist, every single point of the plot is the exact same. The Broadway play started their affair. Because <laughs> remember in The Housemaid? She like, oh, right. Yeah, they yeah, go to yeah, a yeah. play. Yeah. Um, the institutionalization slash framing of the wife for hurting the kid, the perfect husband who is secretly abusive, how the wife can't leave because he framed her. And no one believes her the way the first half of the book is from the nanny's point of view. And the second <laughs> second shows how the wife has been planning every moment of the husband, the nanny assisting falling in love so she could escape with her kid. I'm so relieved to see this post because I've been raving about it like a lunatic. Is it actually legal? I imagine people who bought the rights to the movie, Netflix, I believe, wouldn't be thrilled. Oh, there's a movie coming? I guess, but this was a year ago, posted it, on Reddit. What, so. What's happening? The housemaid? I believe. Um, it's got to be either the housemaid or the last I just Mrs. like Parrish. don't understand, like, what are the publishers doing no vetting at all whatsoever i don't know and is that yeah how how is that legal because you know with songs there's such a specific f formality to being able to say that somebody copied a song i think it's like four i don't fucking know music four of the same chords in the same order for sure. this amount of time and like that's a that's like a copying or something like that so i don't know about books but i just thought it was interesting should we 
Oh, yeah. Should we read one of the books that's similar? And but not tell anyone in book club and see <gasps> if they're like, this is like the exact same idea. book as blah blah blah. That's a great we should read the last Mrs. Parrish. Yeah, we'll trick everyone. Which is just like Paris, the housemaid. What if you just stayed with me? Do we want a verity carbon copy or a housemaid carbon copy? I'm down for either. I would maybe want a verity because that it, I haven't read that as more yeah. recent. I'm down. Um, let's do that so i guess the wife upstairs or the woman upstairs. nobody else have voted on the book club book (laughs) oh yeah i was kind of thinking about that yesterday i was like are we reading or what's going on well i put a poll in the group chat and like no one's saying anything oh i clicked it and i like downloaded an app and then i like for i had to like download an app for it but my phone also just updated today so maybe that's why okay that's why because i was like i don't and i already said like i want to read that one polls no, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. No one's sending me polls and text messages. Oh my gosh. No one is like, for dinner. You know, yeah. <laughs> Chicken, pork. That's like what we do. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I was like, what is this actually? I clicked and it opened up yeah. my application. Well, because no one was like saying anything either. People just are like liking the texts. Maybe their phone wasn't updated too. And so they're like, huh? Mm, well, then just say something. If you see something, say something. Don't just yeah, leave... Th- but I, I said my piece. I was like, I'm down to read that book. Sure, so but I, no one else did. Okay, so you're not blaming me. <laughs> no, I'm saying no. I have been saying nobody is saying anything. Yeah, I mean, I can text and be like, we good for the book for Sadie's? Um, yeah, but I don't know if I want to read that one anymore. He whom loves him yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we should do the, when we were. I think we should do one of these. Educated. Oh, one. No. Of, oh, oh, one of these. One of these. Yes. No, yeah, I should. I should call me like, oh my god, you guys. I just heard the best things about this book. Let's do this one instead. Yeah. It's so weird too. I forget if this one was the cop, the copy of Verity that she did was either the wife upstairs or the woman upstairs because I read one of those. I think oh. this is the wife upstairs and I haven't read that, but I've read a book called The Woman Upstairs. Ooh. How many women are upstairs? So many women. So many women are stuck upstairs. I started reading a book that has women in the title. Are they stuck upstairs? No. Are they stuck uh, downstairs? It does stuff does happen upstairs oh, but they're not stuck i can't remember what the i want to say promising young women but i that's just a that's movie. the movie that's a great movie by the way um brave something women little women <laughs> why can't i remember is book, it a big book talk book uh no, i don't know i have no idea i don't like i'm not on book talk i know but i feel like you always get books from the barnes and noble book talk oh, bright table. young women Oh, that's actually so similar to Promising Young Woman. Yeah, something like that. See? Yeah. Um, pretty good so far. Oh, I'm like good. halfway through. Oh, slay. Really liking. It's probably like the my most favorite that I've, all the others that I spoke about last oh, week. Oh, yeah. Well, last week was dark for you in the book It was book really journey. dark. Yeah. I should, dark time. Has, is anyone saying anything about the books? Um, Someone said I loved Educated. The one oh, that I was like. No, I mean the ones I read. <laughs> oh, someone said they hated Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. So <gasps> you have another person on that side. I got a look. Um, somebody said they hated the, what was it? Perfect marriage or Ugh, something like that. Yeah. They also hated that. Um, I think a couple people were like, I loved perfect marriage, but I feel like majority of people probably said they do. Wow. Now I want to read it just to see like why, but you can take it and burn I, it at oh, the you know stake. what's so weird is <laughs> so I've been like crocheting and I'm like, I would love to just, uh, this is a great time to listen to an audio book yeah. because like podcast, like I'll either watch a TikTok live, I'll listen to a podcast or I guess an audiobook. And so I opened it and they're all like locked and I haven't used it in months. And with Spotify, if on you have- Spotify? Yes, I was trying to read like the Britney Spears one was there and I was like, ooh, that's, this would be a good one to listen to. It's like not super long. Yeah. Clicked it, it was locked. It was like to support this um, author, like purchase, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what the heck? And then I saw Josh Peck. So I was like, oh, I'll do Josh Peck's same thing. I wonder if like memoirs are maybe locked. Maybe it's just memoirs. Well, I didn't no, try any I of the listened book. to the Daddy Diaries when like months ago maybe a month okay because i listened to one uh, maybe two to three months ago and it was a uh, what book was it i can't remember what book it was it was like a memoir oh it was the one where the girl was addicted the woman's addicted to ambient <laughs> and that's <laughs> well, a memoir that's a memoir i listened to some of yellow face on spotify okay well Not i'll try again but i was just like huh because it's so interesting they only give you 15 hours for free yeah each month which is a, a lot yeah um, so I was I like, like most books are under that. No, they are. Yeah. I think like six ish hours is like majority, Let maybe, maybe nine. But <laughs> I was like, what the heck? That is so weird. Yeah. The woman in me. So many women. Woman in me. Let's me do it. It does. Uh huh. Well, what? Opening credits. Yeah. It's starting. Maybe it was a glitch. Do you not have premium? 
I do have premium. Okay. I have no, no ads are happening here. <laughs> Audiobooks. Let's say I'm going to try it. Okay. Let's try it. I'm glad my mom died. Jeanette. Okay. It works. <laughs> Maybe it was, it was Mystery so weird. solved. It was so weird. I promise I wasn't listening to anything else. So it like hit my 15 hours. Yeah. By any means. So I was like, what the heck? Weird. And it was on my phone too. So actually it's just gaslighting yeah, it was on my you. phone. Yeah. Interesting. It's just gaslighting. You. Yeah. I don't know. I love gaslighting <laughs> um, when it's done to me and I do it to others. <laughs> um, I think that you would like the book wow. that I'm reading. Okay. What's it called? Bright Young Women. Bright Young Women. Okay. Maybe I can start that audio <laughs> and it's free, but then I'll, then I'll want to like listen to our book club one too. And then I'll hit the 15 hours. Well, who knows if that's happening anytime <laughs> yeah, soon. I know. <laughs> so I don't know. freaking saying anything. Someone's got a baby now. People are working like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you just kick people out, like the kick Mike out. <laughs> no, that's mean. It is mean. He should join ours. He sh Oh my God, he should. But he would never come, so it'd be fine. He would never come he and he would not like the, the group chat. He said something so crazy on our podcast. I feel like he said something along the lines of he doesn't like reading fiction because it's like he can't, it, I forget what it was. It was something about only liking nonfiction. Yeah, he said that like a year ago. No, I know. It just stuck with me. And I'm like, what? It was something about him like, visualizing it yeah. he's like it's like i'm not learning anything <laughs> huh? I know. Like, okay nerd. Sir, literal nerd what do you mean do you only look at stem on tiktok but see that's the thing like he doesn't watch like shows either you yeah. know he would he would not fit in <laughs> he'd be like <laughs> what are guys talking about i hated this book he would just like to kiki over a glass of wine yes which is yes fun yes but it has to be kosher wine no mm -hmm. yes wow do you not like it all that's kosher wine's gross is it i've never tried it well, ones I've had are not good. Interesting. Is it like funky tasting or? No, it just tastes terrible. <laughs> like he's probably buying like nice kosher wine. I got like the like Josh of kosher wine. Oh, okay. It was gross. And I brought it to Jewish people and they were all like, this is fucking disgusting. Oh, okay. So maybe everyone was. was like, ew. <laughs> ew. Wow. Well, way to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, what even is, how is wine not kosher? Um, it has to be blessed, I believe, or it's made a certain way. I'm not positive. I asked him once, couldn't tell you. Because, like, couldn't you just take a bottle of wine? Oh, I think it has to do with, like, the cork. Oh. Kosher. What makes wine kosher? You could tell me that as a fact, not knowing, and I would be like, like wow, something that makes like so that, much the sense. Way, it must be made under the supervision of a rabbi, which, like, I huh? don't think is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's an AI rabbi. <laughs> Good to go. Seems too hard. It would be hard. Harder than being vegan, maybe. At least in LA, vegan, you can find vegan like everywhere. How your wine has to be kosher, but not other alcohol? That's what I was wondering, because he is, he'll drink beer. You know, that's so, actually, like, that's confusing to me. <laughs> I know. I mean, there has to be a reason. Do I just I don't know it. Do I call him? Yes. Let me get some answers out in the field. Real journalism here, folks. <laughs> Question. Answer. First and foremost, I need you to explain why. Tell them we're on a podcast. Oh, you're on the podcast. <laughs> um, oh, wonderful. What? What does that mean? Makes kosher wine kosher. Oh, that's such a good question. Thank you. Do you not know? No, I do. The short answer is because it's what it says in the book, aka the Torah. But <laughs> the, the other answer is I just believe that it has to basically come from grapes that are on a farm that is run by a Jewish person and just mm. the entire process from like the farm to the fermentation to the bottling process all is done by Jewish people. Okay, well then absolute follow up. How come you can drink other <laughs> alcohol that's not kosher? Uh, so wine <laughs> is different from other alcohol because wine is actually used in religious ceremonies. That makes sense. And so because it's like a holy type of drink therefore mm -hmm. kosher applies to it but every other type of alcohol like whiskey and vodka and beer like those don't need to be kosher they can just be regular follow-up well, question at, um you know irish catholic celebrations we drink a lot of whiskey <laughs> would that be considered <laughs> religious uh for you guys probably but for us we can drink whiskey wherever we want i didn't realize that you um only drink kosher wine yeah it's not, it, I didn't even know that until I was in college and I was going to go buy a bottle of regular wine. And my roommate was like, 
dude, you can't drink that. It's not kosher. And I was like, it's wine. Who cares? And he was like, drinking non-kosher wine is just like eating pork. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh my God. That person is like someone telling you that Santa Claus is not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could Pretty be drinking much. natty orange wine yeah. right now if you didn't hear that. Yeah, did you drink natural wine? No. No, it has to be kosher. That's like saying, can you eat? What if I told you it was Organic kosher? meat <laughs> instead of kosher. There is called you're gonna hate this there's something called <laughs> vivushal wine which technically and this is maybe a little whatever but if you have kosher wine once it's opened if it is touched by a person who is not jewish it becomes not kosher damn which is, yeah which is crazy so what they do is there's sorry for existing <laughs> where they will boil the wine in an oven and if you boil the wine in an oven before you bottle it then it becomes okay for anyone to touch and it's kosher no matter what. Okay, we'll do that for you next time. That is ridiculous. If, I, if so like, okay, for example, if I, if I poured you wine, would you drink it? It depends if it came from a kosher bottle that was mevushal or non-mevushal. Realistically, I would, because I'm not that psycho with it, but if you were to go to like a rabbi's house and they had a regular bottle of wine, they would not Crazy. drink the wine. Do you think that kosher wine tastes good? No, it is oh. known to not be good. See, oh. I wasn't being offensive. <laughs> I said it was gross. <laughs> well, most kosher wine in the U.S. is Mivushal, which is like the wine that gets boiled. And that's why it, most American kosher wine tastes like ass is because they're literally destroying it. Yeah, see, I didn't say it tasted like ass, but I did want to say it tasted like ass. Now she can. Well, there is a kosher... Uh, wine store near us on Ventura that I've been to and they have Video. <laughs> natural kosher wine that is not boiled and that is still not great but it's like a hundred times better than what you normally buy okay well thank you so much for this insight I love this episode of good influences yeah I guess yeah you're doing, the, you're doing an early I'm like I'm still like in my pre like talking to human beings stage of my morning here, it is 11 so. 30 a.m. Look, don't don't judge <laughs> I know. Pre talking I mean, to humans. You're the. You're, this, is the this is the first time I'm using my voice today. <laughs> oh my god! Not even to Rick. Poor Rick. Abusive. Abusive household. What do you mean? Why is it abusive? <laughs> you're not giving him any love. Rick needs company. Her. Well, no. She decided to wake me up at two a.m. to go outside, and then decided to go outside and hasn't come back since. Well, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, God. She, I hope she comes she back. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to finish the podcast, but thank you for your insight and we'll talk to you soon. A dumb question. Sure. Pretty dumb, probably. Um, how come at Catholic Church it's only red wine and never like a yummy Riesling? Because blood isn't <laughs> okay. yellow. That's what I figured. I actually don't know, but that's no, just I feel like logical that's, to me. Yeah. That's what I was saying. That's why I said it was so dumb because I feel like the blood of Christ obviously has to be red. Yeah, well, it is the blood of Christ. It's not wine. I feel like that. That's it has to be. It has to be. We're so. <laughs> we love our uh, religious podcast. Um, is it always red? I think every time I be at a Catholic church, it's always red. I'm like, you drink it sometimes Ew, illegally. That's disgusting. I mean, yeah, but I was a kid. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I never. I always it. like was Even weirded my, out. Like, confirmation and everything i was like this is disgusting it is crazy everyone All shares the, the same glass everyone shares and the same glass like where's the wine coming from like i don't trust the catholic church <laughs> i know true what's in it what's in the wine <laughs> oh um in the amount of people who are sharing the goblet no it's crazy thinking about it actually do you think they were doing that during covid yeah <laughs> that is crazy i feel like that's like how it's it um how covid started was the goblet at a Catholic church. This is like such a good segue because I had last night, I wound up on like, I got this TikTok of these girls who go to this like extremist Christian university. I think I might've sent to you one of them. Okay. I probably for an hour was then <laughs> on a spiral of like, like evangelical Christian university TikTok. What was the TikTok you sent me? I feel like I- It was like two girls it. being like, things that are Christian university that would like, blow other Christian universities away. And I was like, no, like <laughs> not even other Christian universities, like the fucking world. <laughs> like you are in prison. And oh, yes. I it was like down, the dates and everything. 
It was like, you can't go on a date unless you write a letter, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, like there's so many things. Yes, like, I, I wrote some of them down. Like, but then, so I started going to like other schools. This is Liberty University. I <laughs> I meant to look up where it was, but I honestly don't know. Okay. Um, I assumed it was a Mormon school at first until they started talking about like Christian stuff. Beautiful campus. Can't, can't date anyone outside of the religion. Oh, I mean, def- that's like a given. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like, no, like they're for real in a prison. But so then I started getting like other Christian universities and it's like <laughs> so insane. Like they have a curfew. They have to be in bed by 1130. Like adults. Yeah, people in, on, <laughs> in the college. Yeah. And their RAs come to check to make sure that they're in bed like every single night. Um, They can't drink alcohol even if they're 21. So say that you're 21 years old and like go home for Christmas. You can't. If they find out that you drank, time. like you will get expelled from the school. <laughs> Holy shit. Isn't that crazy? Like the fact that I was best friends with a Mormon and she did all of these things. No, this like, is Christian. No, I know. But it's yeah. like, in my mind, Mormon is more like, oh, well, even more strict. Well, technically like but this, they're not supposed to be doing that. No, I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's just like- um, yeah, no opposite gender in either of the dorms. Like they can't even like sign in or anything. Like you are forbidden from entering Jesus. like a female's dorm. Yeah, or this a is literally a prison. Dorm. They have visiting um, hours. Yeah, and if you're gonna they, leave, yes. if you're gonna leave the campus for like the night, you have to get like a written note from your parents, even if you're not like going to see your parents, like to do anything from your parents. Yeah, like if you're not going to stay on campus. What the fuck? <laughs> How do you learn real life? No, I know. By going to a college like this. They said that your the RAs do like room checks every day. And like, if your bed's not made, if there's clothes on the floor, like if it, there's any mess whatsoever, you get like strikes. So if you get a certain amount of strikes, like you get expelled from oh the my. school. And like, those are things that you, you could get expelled for. It's giving like military school. No, yes. Isn't that nuts? Um, Who would have also in one of them once you get married which like most of them they all do the like ring by spring thing like everyone in the video oh is saying God, like yeah. yeah people are married within like six months um yeah, it's like we need to get the fuck out of here. each other but there is one school that once you get married you can no longer attend there oh. because they're like, you shouldn't be focusing on school you should be focusing on your marriage oh my god so they're literally like you can't even be here yes what in the commune no it's crazy i was like i need a netflix documentary so much content. i need a documentary i feel like yeah. it'd be so interesting and it was really interesting because the it was like three girls in the original tiktok that i saw and it seemed as though they were like making fun of it oh but then they're like it seemed like satire but then it definitely wasn't they're like we love our school like genuinely we love our school but they just like are aware of how crazy it sounds kind of yeah interesting but i'm like Imagine oh, it's all satire. Oh, you're brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then I went. Uh, I saw a TikTok that was like, "Here are all these like Christian schools and, and like Baptist schools, all these like really like fundamentally like out there crazy, yeah, brainwashing places, yeah, yeah." Um, and like some of these rules are just so oh God, crazy. I need a reality but show. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> how do you learn any like self sufficiency? Yeah. So like, I feel like college is a great place to start because you're 100%. a lot of the times you're alone for the first time and yeah. you're learning to do laundry, learning your own limits and like how much you can drink or like your own responsibilities of when you should come home or mm-hmm. like hooking up with people and what's good and what's not. You're not learning any of that. But I guess I guess it doesn't really matter because once they get out of college, they're living that same life. So but it's so crazy. They still have no experience. Like, the law <laughs> i know legally the law is when you are 21 years old you can drink alcohol for I them know. to be like no well that's like mormons too i guess they're not really supposed to yeah well, but that's like not in the bible that's true that's true that's just like a, that's an extremist rule for what true well are christians technically allowed to drink yeah i think so oh, i guess if they're drinking red wine at church yeah <laughs> maybe only at church i don't even think mormon i mean i don't think you're supposed to drink as a mormon but i, I just remember they're not supposed to like do something that can make your body addicted no they, anything right that's why they can't drink like caffeine yeah or any of those things i guess mine my friend was like lax because her dad was always drinking like yeah. soda and stuff yeah but that that's like all the real houses of salt like that's what i was like i don't understand no i know i mean it's like any religion there's going to be like extremists and yeah like regular schmegulars yeah. who like boiling really boiling wine in, a, in an oven <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um but so yeah i did like a deep honestly it's so interesting like go watch it's just like 
Uh huh. <laughs> I know. I need a re- I need a Discovery Plus reality show with oh, these people. Hundred percent. The drama. I like, don't think the school would ever. The people allow. that are getting kicked out. Yeah. They have to go to chapel like three days a week. And like some of these people get recruited for sports, you know, like, (laughs) and then they're just having to go to church. Do you think some people go there because their parents are making them go there? Oh, probably. Because I think those are the worst off. I feel like if you choose to go there, then it's like, okay. Yeah. But some people get scholarships. That's the thing. It's like you get like a full ride to the school and you're like, because it's free. Totally. (laughs) I saw someone say like each year you have to do like in one of the places, I'm not sure if it was Liberty, you have to do 45 hours of like going to church. Oh Mandatory. my God. <laughs> we should go there and vlog it. That's a, we should I attend know. for a year. Like that is a lot of time. <laughs> you have to divorce TJ. <laughs> no, no, you can't get in if you've been divorced. Oh, that's true. I do remember that too. I must've been like, I took um, chocolate mushrooms yesterday. Ooh, yeah. Like real mushrooms or just like Like a microdose. No, real mushrooms. Wow. In a chocolate bar, which I was like kind of afraid. Um, didn't really feel much. It was like a very low dose, but I did feel it made me feel very like high tired by the end mm. of the day. Like I felt very, as if I had smoked What was weed. the brand? Um, I don't remember. I wonder if it's the one TJ has. It's not. Oh. Um, but I did ask TJ what brand he gets usually. So I know it's not the same, but yeah, it was good. But where was I going with that? Oh, cause I was watching all those TikToks and I was like kind of like in a haze, I think. Oh my so God. I, I remember watching it, but I don't remember the exact. Yeah, I was sitting there just like with Bullet my points. mouth agape. Yeah, agape. I could not believe what I was. I was like, they're surely my joking. Because <laughs> they like laugh about it. Like they'll say yeah. what it is and then they'll like die laughing. I need to rewatch it with a sober, clear yeah. head. <laughs> and they made like, a. they had one and then there was another one. The thing with the alcohol like that, I just like can't get over. How would they ever know? Yeah, like if you go, that is crazy. Traveling somewhere else. Yeah, and I get it on campus. Out. I feel like a lot, like my campus sure, is a dry, dry campus. campus yeah. But like- they don't campus. give two shits if you go home and take a sip of wine. No, like that's nuts. That's actually insane. You're just like, that's a regime. <laughs> <laughs> it that's is. That's communism. <laughs> no, literally. Like they're in bunkers over there. Wild. The campus, beautiful. I watched like a tour of the campus. Of and course I'm like, it is. I would like to go here for like a little. Oh, we should. They have a really beautiful cafeteria. Okay. They had a cafeteria that food. had a um, dispenser of Stumptown Coffee. <gasps> this one you'll really I'm like. I'm going. They had a dispenser of different coffee mates also. <gasps> I'm there. Yeah. I'm down to apply. Like, Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. I should have looked it up You can night. finally get your degree. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. What is the first thing you do when you have an extra hour in your day? Could be scrolling on TikTok, <laughs> could be reading, it could be, you know, doing a craft. But for most of us, time for what? Like what time? I will say the best way to squeeze that time in is figuring out what is important to you, what maybe you don't need to do right now, and figure out how to squeeze it in. And therapy can help with that. Therapy has been such an important thing in my life. I went for many, many, many years and it was the best thing I've ever done for myself. It allowed me to prioritize things that actually mattered to me. And it's really helped me solidify who I am, my priorities, my morals, my thoughts, why I feel things. Like it's just everything. It's the best. I love it. It's the best. I highly suggest going if you can. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash onlyfriends today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash onlyfriends. This is where you can finish your degree, Erin. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I do think I'll be able to stay married to TJ. I don't think this is a college. If you're married, you're not allowed okay, to. Okay, okay. Thank God. That was like a um, a different one. Where is Liberty University? But everyone sounded Liberty, like Liberty, Southern. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Liberty. Everyone sounded very Southern who was in the video. University. Alabama. Lynchburg, Virginia. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, maybe I won't go Okay, there. yeah, that's kind of spooky. And okay. then I was watching, you know how they do the videos at BYU? Yes. That are like blah 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 they were would you rather that. say a curse word or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh i'm so stupid they were at the uva campus which is the university of virginia okay like a girl two girls from liberty university were at the uva how did i not put that together what's uva again university of virginia oh oh, oh. and um they were asking them like oh like what do you think of liberty university and like so uh, many people were like i don't know what that is uh, and someone was like is that the school that's like all white people <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, all white people who don't want any freedom whatsoever what a dumb idiot i am for <laughs> not putting that together 
That's so interesting. <gasps> so that was my fun, exciting day. Yes, well, night. Yes, that's how yeah. I fell asleep. Oh, oh, did you uh, repost any on accident? No, but I keep checking every day. <laughs> that's good that you check. Every day I check because I will feel myself like touch a button and then I'm like jolted awake. <laughs> You're like, oh no, not again. Yeah, no, yeah. And then I'm like, <laughs> fuck, what did I do? <laughs> So far, nothing. Uh, um, so yeah, we'll it's see. actually. I don't know if we talked about this, but after we posted that, so many people were like, "I looked and I didn't even realize how many I was reposting." You're we're welcome. Like sending. I've definitely sent my plenty of messages on accident. I've really like changed a, people's lives. Yeah. Well, thank you for the information you from public embarrassment. We can we can learn from this example. Yeah. So be careful with your phone and TikTok. It's crazy. I wonder what the percentage of people fall asleep to TikTok. It's probably outrageously terrible. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I do. Sometimes I'll like put in an AirPod. Like put an AirPod and just yeah, like put on a live or something. And then like I'll fall asleep and wake up in the middle of the night and like there's nothing playing. I'm like, oh yeah, my AirPod. <sighs> yeah, it's bad. Like I need to stop doing that, but I can't stop. I'm like, I feel like it's ruining my sleep maybe. Oh, do you sleep bad? I don't, I haven't slept good in like months. I don't know what Didn't I wake you up. just sleep for like 14 hours I did. That day? was the best sleep of my fucking so life. So you just lied. Well, that was Publicly like. Publicly on this podcast. Sure. She's a liar. Sure, I lied. But <laughs> besides that day, it's been fucking terrible. I wake up like every hour. I'm just, I don't feel rested. Do I have sleep apnea? Maybe. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. I actually don't think so. I don't snore, snore or anything, but. No, I don't think you have sleep yeah. apnea. Yeah. So maybe I should stop doing that. That's probably not helping my case at all. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure most people are doing the same thing. I fall asleep in eight hours, baby, straight <sighs> through the night. You don't wake up ever? Sometimes, but like. But I'll you're not like up and like can't fall back asleep. Sometimes, I mean, it depends. Yeah. That usually happens if like, I, well, no, it depends on how much I've drank. Like if I have like a glass of red wine, like I'll get up in the middle of the night, but I have <laughs> yeah. like my triggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot, of, no, I typically get like a great night's sleep. That's so crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. I always go, I feel like for me, it's a cycle. Like it'll happen mm -hmm. and then I'll be fine for like a couple months and then it's, yeah. And do the mushrooms help you? No, I don't think so. Oh. What do you think you did differently the day you slept for so long? I have no idea. But I literally, I told Aaron I went to bed around 11. I woke up at 12, 15. It was like the scariest. That's I thought crazy. I was like, it has to be like eight or nine. And I looked at my phone. I was like, oh my God. Did you wake up at all? No. Oh my God. So like I needed it apparently. But I was just like, holy fuck. I've never, I haven't slept this late in so long. But it, I didn't feel bad. Like, you know, when you sleep in really late, you feel terrible usually. And for that long. Like you slept more than 12 hours. Yeah, I felt like good. I, I feel like if I usually... Like I remember in high school or even college, I'd stay up really late and sleep to like one or 2 p.m. And I would feel like absolute garbage and I didn't at all. I felt great, so. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. You needed it. I guess so. A well-rested queen. Yeah, except not today, but <laughs> for oh. that one night it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but how was um, everything else? You should keep weekend? like a sleep log. I know, I always think about it. Um, I saw app, you know, they have those like those aura rings. Yeah that track your sleep and everything uh -huh. they i saw this tiktok um i guess apple's like working on their own yeah, i know which is like such a sleigh i would rather have that than the freaking watch yeah and it's like you can track every i don't know just obviously Why make you it just get the aura ring um because i don't think it tracks workouts and stuff the same oh like i like it when i go to pilates and on my walks and stuff like that for some reason i thought it did but you're probably right it probably does, and I just don't know. But I also don't. I can't. Or rings for sleep mostly. I thought, and I don't. I can't sleep with jewelry on at all. No, like I hate having my pierce, like my new piercings in. Like I can't wait. Oh, so I can I, yeah, no earrings. No, no, no. I don't know how people sleep with earrings. No. Or shower with rings on. What are you doing? No. I can't handle water under my, like washing my hands after going to the bathroom. I'm like sometimes taking and then my rings off. Wet. Ew! I can't do it. No, I know. Who is I, showering with rings on? We need to talk. I, the, I mean, I take off all my rings at night except for my wedding. Yeah. Is that because you're like, it's special? I don't want it to be off or it just doesn't bother you? I don't even feel like it's on my hand. Oh, okay. Like, that makes like, sense. Yeah. It's TJ, like your tragus. TJ took his <laughs> off the other day. I forget what he was doing, but he took it off for something. And his, it's just like indented. Like it's like a part of you. It oh my God. Like a part of your skin. Yeah. That's like my phone in my hand probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. My tragus I've had. I obviously don't take that out. Yeah. You probably don't even feel it. No. I, I need like, to get my shortened, I think. Mine's like bothering Shorten. you when I, cause it, it's still oh, with like the long bar. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God you can get a little, a little loop. I actually put in a hoop there. I took it out and put in a hoop and I didn't really like it on me. 
Mm. I liked this better. Yeah, you're right. It only looks good on me. Yeah, it does. That's why I was like, I could never compare to Aaron. <laughs> mm, it doesn't look as good as Aaron's. It's I a, gotta take it out. Yeah, I feel like it was also a really thin one. So it's like, it wasn't noticeable at all. I was like, I feel like with this one, you can like see it. Huh. Can't really tell with a little hoop, but. Um, oh my God, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. Oh, we watched um, this documentary on Netflix called killer stalker lover or something oh, like that. Oh yeah, TJ was watching that the other day. Okay, yeah, it's set in Omaha. So I was like, of oh, course I have to watch it. Of course. Aaron, it's crazy. It's only an hour and a half. It's like a documentary movie. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna watch it. But it's like, it. I feel like it, it I need you to watch it. It's like a book we would read. It's I crazy. Know, but I'm uh, stalkers freak me out. Yes, but okay. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Like, it's not what you think. Why? What do you mean? I I, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. You have like a hair on your nose. Like a, like an okay, eyelash. Okay, now it's gone. Oh yeah. no, my eyelash is falling out. It must have oh, been Oh no, my eyelash. only good so trace. Long. <laughs> my eyelashes, they can't fall out. Oh no. Yeah, TJ started it yesterday and then I went into the bedroom. <laughs> oh, fair. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. stalkers kind of freak me out. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. I can tell you like the brief plot. It's basically this man who goes on, goes on a date with a girl. And then I feel, I was on mushrooms. So like, I can't really remember, but I feel like it didn't work out. <laughs> I, mean, I remember like the majority of it. Oh I just don't remember God. why, like what happened with them. You can't, I thought mushrooms were supposed to help you see like clearly. Well, that's if you're like on a trip. I wasn't like tripping. No. I was just, and you're well, like I don't microdosing. Know. The whole point of microdosing, I'm pretty sure is to like make your brain. I felt foggy. I'll be honest. I felt pretty foggy and just like chill. Interesting. Yeah. I felt foggy and then I got real sleepy, like a weed sleepy. It was very strange. I don't think that's what it's supposed to do. Okay. Well, anyways, so he goes on a date with his girl. He met, he meets off of plenty of fish <laughs> and it doesn't How, work out. When did this happen? Um, I believe it was like 2013, 2012. Okay. I was wondering that because I was like, I wonder if my dad went to, cause there's like a scene with like a fire happening. And I was like, uh -huh. I wonder if my dad went to that, but he retired way before that. Um, he goes on a date with his girl. Something happens, doesn't work out. He goes on a date with another girl. And then that girl starts getting threatened by the girl he went on a date, the first girl he went on a date with. And she keeps like threatening this girl that he's like seeing. Okay. And it's, it's like that. And then a, a huge Okay, wait, twist. so this girl's the stalker? Yes. Oh, I can watch it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, okay. it's not a guy, so it's fine. <laughs> that's- um, But it it's not what you think. So it's just- A lot of what? Woo. Okay, it's an hour and a half. What am I doing it's, this afternoon? It's I'll really not, no, it's like so short compared to, I feel like all these documentaries you watch are like five episodes. And yeah. like they don't need to be yes. at all. Yes. I also um, caught up on Love is Blind. I don't know if we were talking about that on a t TV section, but. Yeah, I, well, I had it on there. I just wasn't okay. sure where you were at. Yeah, we can talk about you it You can then. just talk about it now, who cares? Oh, I'm just, I I know this is like all over and I agree with it and you sent me some TikToks about it, but like they need to release them all at the same time because everything's getting ruined. I saw a TikTok last night that was like, why did they not make these people sign an NDA? Literally. I feel like they've never done this before where like things are no, coming out and they're like posting about it. Like, insane. I don't think they're, are, how are they allowed to post anything? It's insane. Like release the sods <laughs> if you're gonna spoil it. No, at that point too, like a release the tapes. Yes. When you see it going all over the internet, release Just be like here. And I tapes. saw a theory that the reason they do the batch releases is because if they don't want people using a free trial and watching all the episodes they want people to get hooked and then have to like buy netflix to watch the literally next episodes. grow up <laughs> i know i know it's grow so crazy up. but um i have a question sure do you think chelsea looks like megan fox i think from the eyes up she does okay uh this With is a little like forehead reduction <laughs> yeah she to me she does like i well that don't obviously. think she no i don't think they look alike like i would never sure. be like that looks like megan fox but they definitely have similar qualities you know if you like cover her here she looks like megan fox yeah 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 pretty From the nose down no. like if you covered her eyes no did you see that she like reached out to megan fox that no she didn't i have it <laughs> Say she what hey girl she, can you please can tell everyone that I, we look alike <laughs> Okay, so somebody, she did like an ask me anything on Instagram and somebody said, have you heard from Megan Fox? Which like, maybe she asked herself this, who sure. knows? Because like, why would someone ask oh, that? Oh, T. And she goes- She's giving the type who would do that. So she sent the screenshot of what she sent to Megan Fox on a DM. Oh, on Instagram. Yeah. No, 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 no. Megan, love you much. My ass is getting dragged for saying I look like you. Definitely could never compare you of compared to you, of course. And when I get that compliment, I absolutely lose my shit. Sorry if you're getting blown up about it. <laughs> like, clearly, I don't think she's getting blown up about you looking like her. 
<laughs> Maybe she is though, because it's such a big show right now. But I'm that's so embarrassing. I I know, and I feel like I like. Do you like Chelsea? Um, I don't think I like anyone. <laughs> do you like Jessica? Which one is she? The one who, with the with the child that. No. Oh, why? The only girl I I don't know any of their names. The only girl I actually like actually. Okay, I don't know any of their names either. Is thank God. um the one who? Oh my God, what is her name? She's, She's just the sweetie. No dark hair. Oh oh oh, the one with um, dating Kenneth. Ken, the teacher. Yes yes yes. And She's, She's the a, only also like, real genuine one. Twenty four. Yeah. Sweetie Angel Pie. You're to- I no, think you she's should- the only one who like actually genuinely wants to be there. Yeah, she's so sweet. I'm obsessed with her. I, and justice for her. I can't believe how many people like communicate on Instagram directly after. Right? It's how like, did you even cra- find each other? Crazy. It's <laughs> nuts. I mean, the whole thing is nuts. I'm so excited for the rest. I hope. I know. This I mean, week, we only have a couple days. Tomorrow, right? On Tuesday? The 29th. Oh, what's today? The 26th. Oh my god! I thought they came out on fucking Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it's the 29th. I have no idea. I just assumed. Oh, I feel like it will say. Do you think anyone will actually get married? I fucking hope not. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Skims. If you know me and Aaron, we're basically always wearing Skims. Sometimes my entire outfit, underwear, and socks included are Skims. Like, do I have a problem? Maybe. Um, but the best thing about Skims right now is their bras. I'm not a huge bra person. I don't like to wear bras. But sometimes, tragically. You do have to wear a bra. Something is a little see-through. If you don't want your nips showing, you know the whole spiel. And I tried Skims bras and they are so comfortable. I literally don't even mind wearing bras now because I'm like, well, they just feel like nothing. The wireless form t-shirt bra and the Fits Everybody plunge bra are definitely my favorites. They are my go-tos. I like to wear them under sheer shirts or, you know, just pop on a nude color and you're good to go. And again, like everything at Skims, they are so soft. They're so comfortable. They've got stretch to them like can't recommend them enough shop skims bras at skims.com now available in 62 sizes 30a to 46h plus get free shipping on orders over 75 dollars. and if you haven't yet this is super important if you haven't yet be sure to let them know we sent you after you place your order select podcast in the survey and select our show in the drop down menu that follows this podcast is sponsored by factor factor has been such a blessing i don't like to cook so the fact that factor sends a box of b- delicious dietitian approved meals you just pop in the microwave for two minutes and they're good like that's everything i could want in life factor has over 35 different options a week to choose from including keto calorie smart vegan and veggie and more and there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add-ons that help you make your weekly meal planning even more delicious what are you waiting for get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go they have besides meals they have snacks they have smoothies and again they have full meals factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious it's flexible for your schedule get as much or as little as you need by choosing six to 18 meals per week plus you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime no prep no mess meals factor meals are 100 ready to heat and eat so there's no prepping cooking or clean up needed there's such good chicken meals little pasta meals oh i love it head to factormeals.com slash only friends 50 and use code only friends 50 to get 50 percent off that's code only friends 50 at factormeals.com slash only friends 50 to get 50 percent off <laughs> <laughs> yeah none of the people who are together I should get married s- i saw though oh except for that like ginger guy but he was at the airport with that girl with jess yeah but who knows maybe they were like at the, who coming knows? to the reunion or something yes which they were they're filming LAX. yeah they're filming a reunion right now um but even still like i don't really like him i like the girl he's with she's really nice yeah but i'm not rooting for them i don't want any of them to end up together okay the guy is chelsea's with what's his name jeremy or trevor or no, not no. Trevor. I get everyone's so confused. That's who she was gonna be with. Yes, okay. Jimmy. Jimmy. He. I guess he posted on Instagram something with Chelsea like recently. Like I think from the show though. Like posted a picture of them kissing or something, and she commented on it with like hearts and stuff. Like recently, and I'm like, what are you guys doing? How are you allowed to do all of this? Okay, wait. The twenty eighth. Okay. And then so okay, Wednesday. This is so fucked up. They have two on the twenty eighth. Then we don't get another one. Two? March 6th. And then the reunion is a week after that. But like, who fucking Okay, so there's two that? episodes and then there's the wedding episode yep. and then the reunion. Yep. I feel like it's going to be a good reunion finally. 
Like, I think this will be a reunion I'll want to watch. We'll see it on TikTok before it hits the air. 100%. <laughs> um, you know, I don't think that any of them should be together. 100%. Yeah. I think that Jimmy is really trying to like Chelsea, but he doesn't. I don't like him. I don't either. I think they're all losers. Like most yeah. of every guy is pretty much a loser on the show. Big losers. I was trying to figure out- was and they all came Ke under false pretenses. I know, all of them. <laughs> I'm like, what else is gonna come out? <laughs> yeah. Ke uh, Kenneth or Ken, the oh, yeah. teacher. Loved him at first. Me too. I was like, he's the sweetest guy. But I also am like, okay, what's this edit though? Like- No, I think that he is genuinely a piece of shit. And, and just I hope at that his all, all of his students drag him to film. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I wish, yeah. Imagine he's a- teacher and principal at one of those schools which one oh, the the evangelical ones, ones yeah. probably he's they're religious <laughs> yeah they are that girl it was such a sweetie i felt so bad for her i know that scene i don't want to give too much away because like it is a pretty new show but like that scene when the conversation happened yeah like the big one like a gaslighter crazy pants what do you say again he well because she was just basically being like I'm not feeling, I think she said like spark or like oh, a word like yes. that. Like, yes. I don't feel, he, she was like in the pods, like you were like really attentive and like, I'm someone who like loves that. Mm -hmm. It's my love language. And he's like, oh, well, if you're not feeling it. She's exactly. Like, like, no, like I didn't say that. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm just not getting it from you anymore. Yeah. But he like was flipping it around being like, you don't feel this way. No, that's way. manipulation it's to the It's not core. me who doesn't feel this way. All while like staring at his cell phone. Yeah. It, the, him and his phone was such, again, I'm like, I don't know if it's edited crazy, but like he was what are you no, doing, bro? He didn't console her at all. She's sitting there yeah. like crying. He's like, we're good, right? Yeah. And then like, like I'm gonna laughs go my at house. her and then just like goes upstairs and yeah. leaves her there. Like what a loser. Yeah. She seemed the most genuine, sweetest. Yeah. Like Kenneth, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for we you. We were all rooting for you, Kenneth. I know. I thought he was so sweet. It's <sighs> Now he's like the main villain. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I hate him. It's gotta be such a weird experience too. Like I get why there's so much arguing and unsureness after the pods of because course. when you're in the pods it's like all the attention has to be on you it has to because you're just talking to each other yeah. but then when you get out especially if you're not like i feel like jimmy isn't super attracted to chelsea like that's just how i'm yeah, feeling no, and 100%. so it's like where was this connection we had when we were just talking and now yeah. we're in person and it's weird and like i don't know i don't know i just well, think and it's, they have all the outside factors of like meeting up with other contestants yeah. at the bars yes did you see the theory about, so you know the preview where Chelsea is yelling at Jimmy and she's like, I, you fucked her. Oh yeah. Uh, so there's like a big theory going around. It's supposed to look like it was with Jessica, okay. the girl with the kid, because the, right before that they show them talking on the beach and he's like, you were and always were my number one. Oh yeah, I don't know. such a loser. But I, I don't know how people came up with this, but I think it's like almost 100% true because um, Jess said something. Jess is also posting like pictures of Chelsea saying they're like really good friends. So I'm like, I hate all these spoilers, but she, but people think that he had Where sex with- Where were the NDAs? No, I know. People are saying that he had sex with one of his friends that she had met oh. like in the past, which makes sense. Cause she's probably like- Like one of those girls that she went to lunch with? Yes. Oh, that tracks for me. Yes, that makes so much more sense. And I'm like, okay, maybe that they hooked up in the past or something and she didn't she he didn't tell her that and she oh, found out in and the she's past, pissed. Yes, not yes, like yes. during. That's what people are theorizing. And it's the blonde one for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they were giving yeah. they've hooked up before. So I'm just curious how this is all gonna roll out. I wish every fucking episode's out because everything's getting ruined by all these yeah. people finding information the cast yeah. members posting on instagram like can yep. you stop like and like on tiktok they're like i need to like come forward and like set the record straight and it's like no let the record get set yes, straight when we watch please. it please like set it straight on the reunion please. when we're supposed to get the record set yeah, straight like this is just giving spoiler like we're not even able to enjoy the I show know. and these shows like the bachelor and this and married at first sight these are like the only things we have left that social media isn't ruined like vanderpump rules it's like we know ruined. we know where people are at with ruined. the current posting yeah. and stuff with these shows they can't post anything until the show's aired and now they're randomly posting again so it's like they need an ironclad nda yeah like they they Sue cannot all of them they need to delete instagram <laughs> from their phones yeah. until it comes like out everything which like i thought they had to do because it's filmed like so long ago that's what i thought too because it's never this has never happened before no, never so i don't know if people are getting sued i don't know if the ndas aren't there i don't know if the contract is i don't know what's going on but it's really pissing me off Unless people, unless Netflix is like, I want everyone to talk about it more. So mm -hmm. it, people tune in. So you guys can say whatever you want. It doesn't really make sense, but yeah. that's the only thing I could think of. Are, so are there only two couples left now? There's, 
No. There's at least three. There's Jimmy and Chelsea. There is the redhead guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know anyone's names. There's, um, 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 I can't think. I just thought it in my head and now it slipped. Oh, uh, what's his name? Oh my God. AD. AD and her oh, fiance. Oh, uh, uh, they- Clay, is it in Clay? They, at this point, are giving me, like, we're putting on a show. Yeah, I don't think, I, I, I guess, too, in the um, preview, there's only, they only show two weddings, and so they think that there's only going to be two, like, actual weddings, like, oh. everyone else is going to. Well, those are the three, then. I think. There, there's no more, right? Unless Jeremy and What's-Her-Face got back together, but she was like, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. So. And I would be surprised oh, yes, if this yes, girl, yes. like, came back. I feel like. I feel like the preview, though, they were still together, like, after this whole That's fight. That's embarrassing. But I don't know. That, yeah, that whole situation with Sarah Ann and Jeremy. That like, would be really embarrassing if she stayed, because she really let him have it. And I was like, go off. No, me. she was great. Like, she let him lie his ass off. And then she was like, actually, here's what happened. Like, yeah, amazing. Loved queen. it. The whole Apple Watch situation. I'm sure yeah. everyone has seen all of it. He's so stupid. Classic like man. Queen. He, like, tried to be like, oh, I tried on my location so you could see it. Meanwhile, he's left he left his phone in his car and his apple watch tracked his phone all the way to sarah ann's house across town and she knew it and mm-hmm. she called him out and he had a literal fiance when he applied to be on the show so that too okay so trevor also did or he was just in a no, relationship he had a girlfriend okay but they had just started date i just saw something about this she she came forward i saw oh. a video she posted and she was like Jesus we had Christ. just started dating so we weren't together for like that long i think she was like two to three months or something and then he got like a casting call for love is blind and he was like hey like since we're not like serious do you care if i do this and she was like no like she was like i literally didn't care at all like who am i to like Mm -hmm. not let him have the opportunity to like be on netflix and so she was like i fully supported he kept me fully in the loop with everything oh so it was like the pretense they're still together yes but like it was so weird because they're (laughs) text messages were like i can't wait to marry you and like yeah. all of this stuff so it's like but whatever if she came forward and was like i didn't give a shit then like whatever yeah and he like told her about it okay then i'm just like oh, it just looks okay. for the other women who like could you know if he ended up with someone then what then what yeah. <laughs> well i mean i don't think any of these people are going on the show seriously <laughs> i don't know I, they need to make the age like 35 and up do you think oh yeah yes. so they don't care about social media well that i guess but it's also just like like you don't need to be on a show when you're 25 finding your life partner <laughs> like that is crazy to me oh, i know i feel like it's most of them though. i saw a funny thing i'm sure you saw it was like have you ever tried regular dating <laughs> first yeah like what do you mean you're on love is blind at 24 years old it just doesn't make sense to me I just well because they just want to be famous i know that's a problem <laughs> That's why I was saying like 35 plus, like they probably don't care about the, f- yeah. the fame. Yeah. You got to just get like a 40, 40 year old group of millennials. Golden, love is blind. And they're all 60 plus. I couldn't even watch that. I don't think I'll watch the Golden Bachelor again. Oh, oh, is it happening again? Is it like a whole franchise now? I have no idea. I would just imagine. The Golden Bachelorette? I fell off. It's got to be the Golden Bachelorette after. If they picked a good woman from the season of The Golden Bachelor, I would watch. I retract my previous I think that's statement. what they normally do with like The Bachelor. Yeah. So maybe. He was just also a fraud. So. Yeah, it's crazy. So you, it doesn't matter, I guess, the age. Like you'll still fraud for social media clout. Yeah. <laughs> to get on a show. That's so true. Is that why he was on the show though? I didn't really follow that whole lore. I. What about him was a fraud? He like, he was like, you're the first person since my wife, which like it came out that he was like cheating on his wife. And like, he did have other partners oh, prior no. to the show. Oh, no. I know. You what can't lie like that. And like, when you you're... made America like love yeah, this I man. Know. And it could have started off that franchise so perfectly. Yeah, but it was just like, nope, you're a fraud. Yeah. You're a fraud. Everything is fake on social media. I know. And like his daughters were on the show. Like, it's just very interesting. Oh yeah. So why weren't they like... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, Weird. Last night I watched Mean Girls, the musical. Oh, what'd you think? I'm, people walked out of the theater. No way. Yes. Oh, I thought that I was going to have like a hot take. I no. didn't like it. No, some people love it. Some people think it's really bad. When I went to Danny's for her like birthday dinner thing yeah. or Danny's cousins, they had it on. And I was just like, Oh really? Okay. I would not like this. <laughs> like, I have been dying to watch it. Like it was finally on my TV. No. 
And but you don't like really like musicals. That's I mean, why I was like, I'm excited. Yeah. The songs are not good. No. And like the watching it, the only thing I wanted to do was watch the real movie. Yeah. Um, there were some like funny parts for sure, but like oh I think I gave it like a two and a half star on oh, letterbox. Letterbox. Yeah, I said any, it's not fetch. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> this movie is so not fetch. And I also was really bummed because they brought back so many of the original people in the first movie, but they didn't bring back um, Regina. No, that one I didn't care about. Why can I only? I literally am calling her Leslie now. Amy Poehler. Oh, Amy Poehler as Regina's mom. That is funny. True, because Tina Fey's in it, right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, whatever I saw, like the clips I was seeing while we were eating stuff, I was like, this No, is it wasn't good. Bad. Did any was anyone like Danny loved it. Well. Yeah. But she was like, You won't <laughs> that's like she's it. She's obsessed with Renee Rapp. Yeah. I, but An she was apologist. like Well, she also like loved the Broadway, I okay, guess. I also was wondering when I watched it, is it exactly the same? No, it's different. Oh. hmm See, I feel like if I saw it on Broadway, I would like that. I think so too. But it's different. Like it's people. I saw a bunch of TikToks too, like comparing the Broadway version versus the movie, and it's like so much worse. Like the movie, oh, the Broadway like is way louder, and like the singing is really good. And I feel like the singing isn't that great in this, except um, for Rene. I mean, whatever I saw, I it thought was just it was like fine. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. But it, it like there were parts where I was like chuckling a little bit, but then I just most of the time was like, okay, like when is it gonna be? You old? know what's so funny? You're gonna be like, oh my god, the the guy from the summer I turned pretty. What's his name? Yeah. What's his name? I don't know. Okay, Chris but something. I always, whenever I watched it, I was like, he looks like a young Leonardo DiCaprio to me a little bit. Okay. So when it was on, I didn't know what movie it was. I thought it was a really old movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Cause I was like, damn, he is so young. With just like 4K. Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and Tina Fey's old, but Leonardo no, DiCaprio's young. <laughs> no, I literally only saw him. Like, Well, I, Tina would have been like every scene with him. <laughs> Well, I don't know. During calculus. I wasn't like watching it. It was just like sure. on in the back. So I just like saw him and I think he was like with one of the girls. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. That was very funny. Yeah. I think his name was like Chris something. I don't know. He's not really like in my orbit of people. Yeah. But I, th- I think he's attractive. Definitely. For sure. Oh, he, Team Conrad. Uh, yeah, that's his name. His name is Conrad. <laughs> yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> I don't know his real name. Yeah. Why would I ever? <laughs> I wonder when that's coming back or if it is. I can't remember how it ended. Yeah, couldn't tell you. I don't think I watched it actually in the first season. Oh, you know, oh, the second one wasn't good. Yeah. I'll be honest. Well, I think because I watched it and I read the book and I was just like not in love with either. Oh, I loved the first season. It was good, but it was also like, mm. yeah, you just like don't like that stuff. That yeah, like. I need to watch something murder, hurt, horror, horrendous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, murders or, only. Yeah, not That's even murder. I like, oh, I also watched the Sydney Sweeney movie. Oh, what did you think? Also not good. Really? Yeah. It's crazy because today I saw that it's made like 200 It's like the biggest, or something. yeah, yeah rom-com. But people were like saying like, this is, people want rom-coms. But like, it makes sense because all of the like, like it was so, like even TJ was like. Oh no. Like we were cr- cringing oh, at parts. No. It well, was par- just like so, like I need you to watch the first 10 minutes. Oh no, really? It's just like, honestly, there was promise. And I think like, objectively like it was a good plot line but the execution was just like so corny oh and, like i love corny damn i had hope for that movie too i thought it was gonna be really good but i did see they're like they want to like continue making movies yeah together, i saw that too which i'm like maybe don't <laughs> maybe um did they have an affair or not maybe save your marriage yeah, yeah the, of course huh? they did. <laughs> i know right um, how is this being how is this allowed <laughs> it just it was it was like too cringe for me yeah that's fair Interesting. I haven't really seen any negative things about it. Yeah. So that oh, I sucks. didn't put that on my letterbox. Let me see what it's rated on there. Oh yeah. Is it rated out of five or ten? Five. Okay. Oh, anyone but you. Popular this week. Three has three point one. Hmm. I feel like that's fair. Yeah. I don't really know how to um look at everyone's oh, when a book Matt rated it three and a half. Okay. When a book is rated like that on Goodreads, I'm like, it's not good. <laughs> I know. So it kind of freaks me out. I would love to hear Matt's opinion. He didn't write a, th- a synopsis. Mm, not a thesis on that one. No thesis. Matt, I got to add it to my on, watched. I'll give it a three. 
because it wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it was bad. Just cheesy. It was very cheesy. And like the whole reason why they hated each other was so fucking stupid. What was it? Okay, like, it's like a very (laughs) classic trope where like the girl overhears the boy like trying to be cool in front of his friends Mm -hmm. type of thing. But so they spent an evening together and I honestly don't even know if anything happened. I can't remember. But like she woke up and like slipped out of bed and then was leaving. And he like woke up to her leaving. And like that's why he hated her because she didn't say goodbye. Which like what's the Mm, big deal? And then she was like walking away and then called her sister and was like, oh my God, like we had the most amazing night. And she was like, what am I doing? Why did I just leave? And then she like went back. But the door to his house was just open from the street <laughs> and she heard him talking to his friend okay and he basically, the door's wide open yes okay and he basically she he over- pets uh no okay well that's good to know um he was like kind of like talking about how he really liked her or whatever or the guy was accusing him of really liking her and then he just like as a guy was like no like I couldn't wait to get her out of here like mm. kind of thing and so she overheard that and I was like I get why she was mad at him yeah. for hearing that like yeah. out of context like that would suck yeah especially when you just like ran back but then like him Carly like it was so cheesy how like far <laughs> they were like taking their hatred oh, no. that i was like this is like making me uncomfortable because oh, it's no. so cringy because oh, no. it like didn't make sense it's like That's just the have worst. the conversation yeah just be like hey like why did you leave that one night by the way <sighs> and so like they kept going on with this hatred and it, like they're so her sister and his best friend were getting married so they like had to be around each other and they were like oh, okay. ruining events. Oh my God. Because of it. And it was Anyone like, but you. No, like it was like so crazy where I was like, okay, just like, literally have a conversation. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that stinks. I know, but I like. Like it's good, like airplane movie? Yeah. Okay, well, good. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Good airplane <laughs> movie. Maybe I'll save it for but a plane ride. But I wasn't ride. blown away. Yeah. Sad. Even TJ, he, TJ fell asleep. Oh my God. And, we watched, I literally was like, we can watch this movie today for you so you can look at Sydney Sweeney's tits. <laughs> and he said, thank you, but I'm going to take a nap now. Yeah, that's probably why Maybe. Matt rated it so high. <laughs> probably. <laughs> she had some, uh, the whole movie was literally just her cleavage. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Were there any like sex scenes? Uh, yeah, but like not crazy. Oh, okay. There was like one in the shower that was like barely anything. It was very like PG sex scene. Oh, okay. I mean, I just, go, coming from Euphoria, you never know. No, 100%. You know? <laughs> yeah. No, no. It was like respectful sex okay. scene. We love. So like, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just don't have it then. They w- Okay. They would be perfect to do like adaptations of the like love theoretically series. Oh, I, I can see that. Yes. Like, that's what the movie it's corny. was like. Yeah. Just like, it was so corny. And like, things they we never fuck, got over. They want to fuck anyway. So yeah. like, just there let them go. do it in these books. Mm-hmm. I think they should do that. They should get the rights to those they, books. They should be every Colleen Hoover or adjacent Couple. movie. And like, that's just who they are. Yeah. And they just change their appearance no, to I th- the book. I think that they should do the love series. A hundred percent. They would be perfect because <laughs> they're both so corny. Yeah. Well, shoot. Well, I probably won't watch it now. They should pitch them. Well, watch it on a plane. Yeah, maybe. I also like loved her dress. I'm going to a wedding and I found out that like we have to wear pastel colors, which is quite frankly. It's a tragic thing for her pale skin. Yeah. Like who decided that? And she wore this like beautiful baby blue dress. And I was like, oh, oh like let I just Googled. That. I was like, where can I buy this yeah. dress? custom made obviously classic okay baby blue's not Ruined bad though my whole day yeah but like that's not a color for me okay it looked good on you because you have dark hair and blue eyes yeah it'd, it'd really pull my eyes out uh, yeah let's make this about me <laughs> what other yeah. colors will look good on no me? it would look good on you <laughs> thank you <laughs> um yeah i'm more like it's like so i'm like is white a pastel <laughs> white is a <laughs> wedding <you> color <laughs> the bride yeah <laughs> I don't know. You should wear like an, a cream <laughs> off white. It's past like a really, really, really light yellow. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're so bad. I feel like I don't see them anymore. I see so many subreddits that would like pop up recommended that were like, is this okay for a wedding? And it's like, clearly. No. It's like, I understand their problems. Cause like in person, it's not, doesn't look white, but in photos it does. And it's like, if it looks white in photos, don't wear it. If you have to ask. Don't wear it. I feel like that's your answer. But for someone like me though, I feel like it's different. Cause I'm, I don't, 
I don't know. I feel like when I was trying on wedding dresses, like more recently, I was like, is this appropriate for you a cocktail? You were trying on wedding or... dresses. Huh? <laughs> tell, tell the people. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Dresses to go to weddings. Sure. I don't know what yeah, formal, like what's cocktail. Like colors. Yeah, no, no, no. Like you're, you're not I like, not, is this too, is this color appropriate? Yeah. I think I would never have that problem though, because I don't like wearing light colors anyway, like yeah. that. Like, especially dresses. Like I want like a bright, vibrant or black. Yeah, black all the way. Color. No, they were like, we don't want people wearing black to our wedding. Damn. And I'm like, I think that's rude. <laughs> you should voice I, that. Cause I them. already, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna rewear a dress that I've had that I haven't been able to wear in a couple of years. Cause it's like full black tie and like it's the right season, a mm-hmm. summer season. And I was like, perfect. I don't even have to think about it. And then they updated their website like last week to be like, everyone has to wear pastels. When is it? Is it close? Yeah, like three months from now. Oh, okay. I think it's like three weeks. <laughs> oh no. I mean, three months. Yeah. Like we still haven't even gotten an invitation, like a formal invite. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So that's just my current stressor. Like really what sorry. the fuck am I going to wear? I know. Rude. Girl, I wouldn't even know where to start. I also just like, not to knock it. I just couldn't be a person that's like, th- this is the color scheme that oh, you like, have to wear to my wedding. See, I didn't know if that was a more modern thing. Cause I feel like like a couple weddings I've been to, it's been like, maybe just one actually. Brittany did it. Yeah. But it was like, this that was a, a sit- for- and it was a wide range. Yes, yes. I, I guess I just have never seen it otherwise. So I don't yeah, know what it normally is. Cause I feel like when we went to like no one's friends or was not a thing like that. Yeah, I don't know. No, me neither. I get it, but like, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't put, put that on people either. No. Like just don't wear white, that's it. Yeah. You know? normal don't, don't and you're get already gonna have like enough problems than worrying about like what oh my God. people are gonna wear it's gonna be the last of their set problem. a precedent yeah and you know people are gonna show up not in pastels i it's gonna be me <laughs> 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 no i couldn't like i i'm like i have to follow the rules yeah um wait i i guess i can read it instead of my am i the well Ooh, what are you my phone is frozen but i took a screenshot of something that i saw the other day that was so interesting to okay. me okay Oh, this. I saw it. I must have been on Twitter. Okay. But I was like, I want to hear her thoughts. Okay. Okay. So this is someone's like wedding invitation. Okay. And someone posted it on Twitter and was like, what do we all think of this? And it's like, you know, please write for the ceremony, reception, doors open, blah, blah, blah. In, and then they're like, thank you for coming. And then in lieu of traditional wedding gifts, we request that you contribute towards the cost of our reception buffet. This will allow us to share a wonderful meal together and create lasting memories with our loved ones. The cost per adult is $40 and for children under 12, it is 20. To facilitate the planning process, we kindly ask that you include your contribution when you RSVP. This will help us provide accurate numbers to our venue and ensure a seamless experience for everyone. Please note that payment can be made by transferring the funds directly to our bank account at your (laughs) earliest convenience. Below are the details. Kindly include your name and wedding buffet contribution in the payment reference. Oh my gosh. What are your vibes? Okay, so... They're requiring everybody. Yeah, it's like it's like instead, instead of a gift, of a gift, pay this and we, proof. <laughs> Send the receipt that yeah, you did like, it. Yeah. So they're so like we very included in our. Catering. No, they're very like you need to pay for this buffet. Um, I think it's weird. I don't. And to me, also, like the way that they're doing it is a little bit tacky. I like, I don't think it's wrong to like on your like the wedding I just went to. Like literally, it was like don't get us gifts, just donate to this animal shelter. Which no, love like, that, love that, yeah. Uh, and on wedding registries, you can be like, donate to our honeymoon fund, mm-hmm. donate to our like house renovations. That's what they should have done. Yes, and like stop it there. Yeah, like yeah. just make it like a pop. Be like, instead of gifts, like just give us money. Yeah. Instead of being, it's weird to lay it out like that. Totally. It feels like you're going to an event where there's like you're going out for to New Year's at a club and you have to pay forty dollars to get in. <laughs> like no, that's it's... also all the people, and it's also like not everyone can afford to get a gift. Like some people have to travel, some people have to buy a new that outfit. Was going to be my point, like gifts are not a requirement yes and, by, and forty dollars is a lot of money for people especially if you're traveling to yeah. get there like and it's an extra 40 bucks by doing that you are making it a requirement yeah i would feel really weird like if people didn't get me a wedding gift i'd be like whatever they came to my wedding uh-huh, 100%. but like you are you are now being like oh no you have to pay for this no i you mean have to give me money so if you got that invite would you i mean i feel like we i think it depends on who it is right but it's like no I would if you sent me that I'd be like girl what are you doing of course 
But if it was and like, it, I mean, if it was anybody who sent it to me, I would say it, but probably not to their. Like, if it was one of TJ's friends, yeah. I'd be like, what are they doing? And, but you'd still like pay it and yeah. go, I guess. But I also just like don't know if I know anyone who would do that. Yeah, it was just it's just laid out so weird. Yeah, where like, it's like here's ha- the cost you have to for what was it for adults and children? Yeah, so it's like, 40, are we Applebee's? Forty dollars. Yeah, no, I know forty dollars <laughs> for an adult and twenty dollars for a kid. So like, say that you're a family of four, two adults, two kids. 80 120 bucks you have to pay to go to their wedding it'd be so much easier just to be like hey if you like don't get us a gift donate to the reception 100%. like our reception fund so we can yeah. have a great time you don't need to lay it out 40 dollars. like people and are gonna like, give you more money people are gonna go give you less money you and some weird. people aren't gonna give you any money some people are and they can't and you can't expect people to give you money no, i don't like it at all it's i think like in theory weird. it's like a good thing that you're doing for yourselves you're like yeah. okay like this is a way that we're gonna help like cover the cost of our wedding but like do it in a way that's less tacky dollar dance <laughs> <laughs> no exactly. tackiness there exactly <laughs> i don't, ooh, I don't yeah like that's it. interesting what were the major responses or majority responses a I suppose. lot of people um oh, let me see if oh fuck i should have saved the thread but i think a lot of people were like this is great like we shouldn't be like people are going to spend more money on a gift anyway like and this is like cheaper but it's like okay but a lot of people are not gonna get get gifts anyway and like now that they're going to be required to spend money yeah i wish i um benny blanco's trending and pop oh Um, what do you do (laughs) wedding when a man's trending it's never good they said if my friend wanted me to pay them 40 dollars for my in all caps food which it's only your food because you're attending their wedding (laughs) yeah my food like you d- you didn't just roll up to the chick-fil-a drive through to right. get food like you got to eat a meal right. because you're attending an event right um i'd 100 be honored to go and would still give them a gift some of y'all really don't like your friends or prioritizing saving for their life events wow okay what's this one <laughs> okay here's the main prioritizing thread. saving yeah, for like, life this events. is very acceptable I'd say it's a bargain for guests. This is smart because couples often spend so much on food. Like I, th- I think that in theory, it's good. Just go about it differently. Yeah. There's no, don't it, require uh, guests to pay money to go to your wedding. Yeah. It, yeah. It's not that black and white, but yeah, the way they set it up is weird, but it's not a bad idea. But then, yeah, it's like $40 for a meal. And $40 is kind of a lot for a meal, <laughs> but I guess it is a buffet. So yeah but still it's like it's also like imagine if i had like a party here how i do mm -hmm. and then i or even my wedding yeah like it's something that i'm hosting yes i could never imagine like putting it on other people yeah and i think that if you're going to do that there's a right way to do it and that's put it on your fucking wedding website and just be like donate to our fucking yeah the, donate the, to our life the way this is set up is like y- you need to do this and if you don't we're gonna know yeah <laughs> send the like, wait, you don't get a meal <laughs> yeah probably not what are the consequences uh, i don't know i want to know like, <laughs> like will you be let in no could will you imagine a setting for could you, you imagine no meal for you <laughs> if you didn't spend it because you didn't have the money y- yeah. to go to their wedding <laughs> no it's so weird average plane ride 300 bucks to go somewhere hotel 100 bucks a night address depends i know another 40 bucks <laughs> for the for the meal also like what am i paying for i would like you to put below the food that you're providing <laughs> yes like it better be a nice ass steak <laughs> other yeah because if it's like not something that i John want like, why would i pay for it <laughs> yeah if it's like a nice restaurant i'd be like okay hell yeah, yeah. 40 bucks i get that like pache like, i don't know something uh yeah i just think that it it's just like, it's pizzas donate, and tacos <laughs> put a little donation thing on your website or like in the thing you send out like in lieu of traditional gifts like donate to our yeah. honeymoon fund they don't people don't need to know that you're using your honeymoon fund to pay for your perfect your dinner nope and i feel like that's so much more normal to say 100 percent. wow interesting you just that was a tweet you saw yeah i just saw it last night and then i was oh. like interesting yeah because okay. a lot of the comments are like this is this seems right huh and i was like i don't know uh, yeah i don't think it's a bad thing it's just worded weird yeah and like like don't force i I would feel like i'm paying to go to your wedding that's what i said like yeah it feels like you're going to an event that you're paying (laughs) to get into like a vidcon yeah (laughs) 
here's your meal ticket and two free drinks. <laughs> like, I would r- like literally would rather. And people are like, you don't support your friends. It's like, I would rather just like give my friends cash. That doesn't mean you don't support your friends. No. There, you're, there's multiple ways to support your friends. Yeah. By just going. Exactly. And supporting them. Or even if you couldn't go, writing them a nice message. Like you're still supporting. You know what I mean? It's like, no, you don't have to pay money to support. Yeah. Your I think our like, we've gotten a little warped with the wedding culture in general. I when when I wonder when it started becoming warped. I'm thinking social media probably warped yeah. probably warped it a lot, but I guess I don't really have anything to compare it to. I know because I don't really I didn't go to like a ton of weddings. I mean, it was only like my cousins at you know the Catholic yeah red but wine even, like, <laughs> weddings. Like the talk about weddings, I feel like it was never as like yeah crazy. It's just, yeah, it's just because of social media. They have photos Wars. and the videos and TikToks yeah. and everyone's like it. Ha- my has to be like this. Yeah. I have to have a moment for the internet. It's like everything. It's like my birthday has to be the best and yeah. I have cool photos. It's exhausting. Stuff. Totally. Try being an influencer Live your life for, for you, not for the world. Yeah, um, I know. Another thing that I saw on TikTok last night that like kind of bothered me was that someone was like posting like, y'all are so fucking stupid for not knowing that Taylor Swift's piano was a keyboard. Hmm? T- the piano is a cover and it's just a keyboard Oh, because she had a malfunction during a song uh-huh. and it started, you know, like when you have a little keyboard and you can like press a button and then it'll like make a sound effect. Yeah. It was like kind of like that. It was like doing like synth when she was trying to play like New Year's Day. And then a tech guy came over and just like lifted it up and fixed it. Oh, so it's not. So the whole body isn't actually. No, it's literally just fake. That's hilarious. People were like, you guys are so fucking stupid. How are we supposed to know? I know. It's like she knows how to play piano too. It's not like. Like, yeah i mean it's, it's i don't see the problem you know it's just because people were like you don't know that like th- what it would take in order to travel with a piano like pianos have to rest for like at least six weeks after they've traveled wait like, really yeah like oh my god random same. fucking stuff like that wait, a piano <laughs> needs to rest yeah for like the sound or whatever <laughs> and it's like why would anyone who doesn't play piano yeah. know the logistics It also of doesn't that. change anything no, to me. No, 100%. <laughs> like, if but you I'm can like, tell I'm me that, I'd be like, oh, not, okay. I'm certainly not going to shame. Like, if I knew that, I'm not going to, like, shame anyone. No, yeah. Like, okay. You know, it was a TikTok, and, like, all of the comments were like, oh, who cares? <laughs> no, for real. But I was like, oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Because, like, I thought it was a piano. Uh, no, totally. But it doesn't, like, change my mind about anything. It makes sense. Oh, it's just it's funny that no I, no one's minds were changed. It was just like the discourse of like, oh, my God, like it's just a keyboard. We didn't know. Oh. And then people were like, you're so stupid oh. for not knowing that it wasn't a real piano. How are we supposed to? Be a piano? No, it's like this whole thing. If you look it up, oh my people, God. Are, people are fighting. That's and I was so like, OK, stupid. don't be don't be rude. Like, who cares? <laughs> It's only she's lip syncing like, on yes, stage. Yes, you are better than me because I don't know what like a normal piano yeah. entails. Ugh, they went to Berkeley and they just know more. TJ would never. He would never. He didn't even tell me that it was a real. He probably didn't know. Yeah. Even with and that Berkeley degree. He literally went to Berkeley. Yeah. School of Music. Also, I took piano lessons and I didn't know. <laughs> and I learned the office <laughs> intro on a keyboard. So. And I had to do a recital and then I quit because of it. You did? Oh, yeah. Because like, you had to do a recital? Yeah. You were too scared? I did the recital and then I was like, I never want to do this oh, again. Oh, so you did the recital and you yeah. quit after that. Yep. Okay, well, you saw the thing through. I did. That's funny. You're like, fuck that. Did you get embarrassed on stage or what happened? Yeah, no, I was like, uh, why would, I didn't know that I had to do that. Oh. And I never Like you didn't realize it was going to be a crowd. And, yeah. Oh my it's God. Just, but it was like very small. It was like all the students and like our parents. It's still so scary. No. And then like, I'm like, oh, messed up. That's mortifying. Yeah. And then like I'm playing like the dumbest fucking songs of like a newbie and someone's playing like chopsticks perfectly. And I'm like, okay, like, this is not fair. That's so funny. I also quit. I played clarinet as you know, as most of us do in high school. Yeah. And um, I had a, like a solo with one of their girls. So, like oh. we played the same thing by ourselves in front of like all of our parents in school. And I don't know what hers was going on. Hers kept squeaking oh. so bad. And I was just like, I... At first, I couldn't tell if it was mine or hers. But Wait, then I realized you it was banned. No. Well, yeah, I guess I was. Well, yeah, if you're playing clarinet, no, yeah, in I guess school, I was. Like- <laughs> yeah, I wasn't banned. Oh my god! But like only for a year or yeah, something. But you, you were in band. But I think it was just yeah. I guess I'm trying to get out of it. No, I wasn't banned <laughs> at all. I've never. Heard well, that's, of I never knew that. Yes, I don't, I feel like it wasn't banned. Like I feel like I was learning the instrument, but I was not in a band like a class 
that learned a whole song together and we like performed it. It was like very individual. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. So maybe I was in band, whatever. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I also played the violin. In school? Mm -hmm. In like elementary school though. You know? So band. Orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> so orchestra, not band. I guess. Carly was I, have to ask, I literally would have to ask, ask my mom, like, was I in band? I feel like I wasn't. I think I just was like, I want to learn clarinet. I'm going to sign up to learn clarinet. And so I'd go to like music class. Oh, so there was just like, I mean, like in high school, I took a guitar class. Yeah. No, I didn't take like just clarinet. It was like a music class, but I don't think they called it band. I think that's why I'm so like, maybe it was. <laughs> it was just called music class. Well, I feel like, no, like I think you would know if you were in the band. I was not in the band. Okay. You'll have to get some clarification on that. I don't even want to know. Why? I don't know. That's cool. I guess. I feel like I was in band in high school. <laughs> it could have been middle school i don't remember i wish i was or whenever hmm? oh yeah i just don't remember at all and i've completely blocked it out of my memory okay well not completely yeah i guess because <laughs> you remember you did it But i have no idea if i was a band <laughs> i'll text my mommy by the end of the pod she'll text me back was i in band it's so interesting how like everyone's schools are so different in school she's gonna be like well you did clarinet <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah like was it a clarinet class no it was like it was like i swear to god it was called music class it was like oh. a music class but you could only take it if you like had an instrument that you like signed up for or something i don't fucking know okay it's been a million years since then well we can go on to this day in history okay it's pretty quick We've got birthdays first. Rudy Mancuso, which he's younger than us. What's he up to these days, I wonder? I don't know. Jason Aldean. Mm -hmm. Draw this in a small town. <laughs> yep. Um, Jonathan Davis, who's um, Pope in Outer Banks. Uh, Kelly Bishop, who's the grandmother on Gilmore Girls. And um, Patrick Mon Monahan. He's the lead singer of Train. Oh. Which I feel like is really important because, I mean, Drops of Jupiter, like, Saved, hey, so saved our country <laughs> um and then for other entertainment not really anything to note other than hips don't lie by okay Shakira. i mean iconic and um your favorite show bug juice bug juice doesn't come from a jar no it doesn't bug juice comes from it juice. sure does not what a funny title bug juice i know love it um okay no news or anything no, we did okay. the Vanderpump Rules recap on our Patreon. So if for some reason you want to listen to it, you'll have to listen to it there. Yeah, and it, it is a bonus episode. So we yes. solved a lot of problems. So many. Patreon.com slash only friends. It's juicy. And we'll have a new episode next week too. We will. So you better fucking get there yeah, if you it, care about us at all. It was just like so convenient because we had just watched Vanderpump. And then we filmed it. Maybe the next that's a day. good idea. Maybe when we do our Patreon, since we usually do, do like it on every like, other week. Yeah, maybe that's a good think for us yeah because we usually do those on wednesdays anyway and it's right after and it's fresh it's so easy so maybe that's like a good plan okay i have so many am i the asshole so i gotta, I gotta go through and oh okay i think i found one okay am i the asshole for not sharing a free meal with my anti-instagram boyfriend i post my food pics from when i go out to eat on instagram it's just for fun i spend like 30 minutes a week on it tops my boyfriend is a very sweet guy in many ways but one thing i'm not so much of a fan of is that he's he often hops on the bandwagon of hating on innocent things not just liking something but making sure everyone knows he doesn't like it even if nobody asked i can't help but notice a theme pumpkin spice lattes pouty selfies taylor swift etc as you can guess he is not a fan of the food pics and thinks it's very annoying and cringe he doesn't even follow my insta even though he has an account sad face even though i don't have many followers i have started go getting occasional offers and invitations from restaurants in my city to try their food for free in exchange for a review so I, nothing crazy no steak dinner so far but i've gotten a few sandwiches and several baked goods well i just hit the big leagues and got in, got invited to a new restaurant opening that includes a free appetizer and free and an entree for me and one guest i immediately invited one of my instagram friends who i have gone out to eat with on several occasions who also enjoys taking food photos i told my boyfriend and he's pissed that i'm not taking him and says i'm doing it out of spite i really think i'm not 
question mark if the wet if the restaurant is giving <laughs> the west one <laughs> if the <laughs> restaurant is giving me free food in exchange for a post, I'm going to put more effort into the post and spend a few extra minutes making sure that I actually get some very good shots. And I'd rather do it with someone who isn't going to sigh and roll their eyes through the whole thing. Also, I think it's pretty audacious of him to be actively unsupportive of an activity that hurts no one, but then also expects to benefit when it's actually successful. I think she's Am fine. I the asshole. No. Yeah. It's kind of manipulative of him to be like, you're doing this out of spite. It's like, no, I'm doing it because you voice that you don't like you don't it. support me. And there's nothing worse than like, having someone with you that's like bogging down your thing. And it's like, I'd rather bring someone who's mm -hmm. not gonna, I'm not gonna feel uncomfortable doing this around. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so I just don't get that. I just don't get why he like can't follow her. Like, it's really annoying to me. I, yeah, I get, but yeah. I get like maybe thinking it's cringe and like totally unsure. Uh, she, I mean, she said she spends what 30 minutes a week. Yeah. But it's like, okay, I could understand if they are, are like going out to dinner <laughs> and she's like taking all these photos and like, he's not able to enjoy his she's time bringing with her lights in <laughs> because of it, you know, yeah. like that would be annoying. And I'd be like, this is too much for me. Like yeah. I want to like go out to dinner with you to go out with you. Not so you can like take food pictures. However, like this is just giving clout chaser. He's like, Oh, now that you're doing well, he's like, now you need to take me to the fancy restaurant. Well, and he's like, wait, why aren't you bringing me to the restaurant? It's like, yeah what the fuck are you talking about like you hate when i do this so why would i bring you dump him yeah i just I hate when guys do that shit <laughs> you can't or anybody i know it's like okay don't and it's like if he changed his mind like voice it differently I but know. he definitely didn't he just was upset that he didn't get a free meal with her yeah and maybe he's jealous that it's successful i can't imagine though she's like bringing you to all these like boring places and you have to deal with it and then she finally gets a good one and she doesn't invite you <laughs> that's true <laughs> it's like oh we have to go to Ugh, this eat. coffee shop yeah like uh, for a baked good but still i'd be stoked about and that now you're going to wolfgang puck <laughs> i know not wolfgang puck. through all these fucking meals yeah and she's i mean go off queen she's doing her thing yeah and she's being I the point. she's like oh well like i thought it would be like a hindrance to you of that's course. why i didn't invite you it has nothing to do with like of course um, it's like if we brought Mike to Taylor Swift. Like, I don't want to not enjoy Taylor Swift. I want to enjoy Taylor Swift. Yes. Although I think he would enjoy it, but whatever. <laughs> he would roll his eyes. Nah, he'd walk away a fan. He would roll his big fat eyes. <laughs> okay, what should I choose from? We both just have so many. Okay. Just saved in the vaults. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even remember this one, but am I the asshole for being mad at the best man's girlfriend for making him choose between a dog and our wedding? My fiance, male 29, and I, female 26, got engaged last October after six years together and plan to marry this October. We both have very complicated families, so we thought a lot about our wedding and decided that we just want peace and don't want to worry about all the family drama. So we plan to get married in Italy with only our best man and maid of honor. It's only a four-hour drive to a small city we once discovered on a road trip. We invited my maid of honor slash his best man to the wedding, call him Mike, male 29 and told him that they could bring their significant other also the trip would be fully paid and mike is my fiance's best friend since kindergarten mike's girlfriend let's call her courtney female 28 and him have been together for three years we were very welcoming towards her and i befriended her also we have we did a lot of things together helped them move and build their home mike and courtney are getting a dog, hopefully in September. So Mike told us he needed a different hotel because the one we chose is not dog friendly. And at the time of our wedding, October, they would probably have the dog. We apologized and looked for another hotel. Then he texted that Courtney thinks the dog wouldn't make the long drive, which we understood. It's four hours. <laughs> we said that there are probably a lot of friends and family who could take the dog, but Courtney doesn't want that. Mike told us that Courtney would probably stay home with the dog and he would travel alone. Here comes the drama. The following day, Mike wrote us that he will not come to our wedding because Courtney doesn't want to be alone with the dog for the weekend, and she also would like to attend the wedding. Courtney wrote to me that we could change our wedding month or the place, uh, maybe just a wedding in our hometown, so that they could come. Oh, my God. I said no. If we married in our hometown, the families would want to attend and all the drama between parents and siblings would stress us out. My fiance asked Mike again if he could come alone and he finally told us that Courtney threatened to end the relationship if he doesn't stay with her and the dog. My God. My fiance was absolutely sad and disappointed and told Mike his feelings. He's normally not over emotional, but this was hard. 
Courtney wrote me the following day as if nothing had happened. And I told her that I'm absolutely disappointed in her and can't understand her behavior and how she puts this dog who is in absolutely no danger or need to have two people dog sitting him over our wedding and kind of expected her to apologize for all the stress she put us through. She called me an insensitive, indefensive person, a bridezilla who wants her wedding above everything, and said she couldn't accept my behavior even if I apologized. I just can't comprehend why I should apologize. I feel like I can express to friends if I'm disappointed, and I absolutely didn't write anything offensive. Edit two, uh, to clarify, there is no dog yet. They talked to a breeder. He said that if his dog mama got pregnant, and has more than three babies, they would get one in September. Okay, so like they don't even have a dog yet. Dog, yeah. <laughs> Why can't this dog go on a four-hour road trip? It's that's the first thing I'm curious about. Like, what he needs to break up with this girl. This isn't yeah to to say that and be like, I'm gonna break up with you if you still go over mm, a friendship no. for nearly uh, like twenty years, all because of a dog. <laughs> like this is insane and to like then make it about you. Like you're the one who's like, no, the dog can't go in the car. Yeah, and then it's like, oh no. I actually don't want to be alone with the dog. So you're not allowed to go either because then I would be left out. No, she's going to ruin like, his life. Yeah. Well, hundred percent. And it's already happening. And with this dog. Could just you dog. imagine? Absolutely not. I mean, a, a dog huh? can be in a car for four hours. You can leave your car, your car. You leave your dog at home for four hours. Correct. Yeah. I mean, like they can hold. No, like just leave the dog at home. There's and go no to the dog wedding. yet. Is the leave, yeah, leave the dog to huh? just like live freely and for the weekend, go have a nice time. Yeah. Let it just let it outside. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. She's just like giving selfish, kind of like giving sabotage. Yeah. Giving gaslighter, like saying that this girl's a bad person for like not rescheduling her whole entire wedding. The audacity to say, <laughs> maybe you could change the month or the day. You know, it's nuts. You're not. I would never in See, this my is what I'm saying. life. I feel like we have so many, well, probably like two or three, but in my mind, so many of like this story, but also ones that people have written in of like not being able to do something because of a dog, but it like never makes sense. I know. I Like we travel with our dog all the time. Yeah. And like y you in have the car, I mean. Yeah. Or, and like planes. on the plane. <laughs> like, but like, yeah, not saying that's like a luxury everyone can totally. do, but like. Also, like, they had the option to leave it behind with family. The girl just, like, didn't it doesn't want make to sense. do it. No, she's just sabotaging she just doesn't want everything. to go. She's probably jealous because they're getting married and she's not. Period. That's, Solved the case. That's Mystery solved. Literally, you should type that in the comments and then they'll be like, oh, you're right. <laughs> How old is it? Probably so old. I screenshotted it, like, 2022. In, <laughs> in like, November. Okay. Well, I wonder how that relationship is going. I hope it's We'll love an update. However, we'll never this get one. poor man. Like she's threatening to end the relationship. I can't. She must have a really good pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> For him. I guess. He's willing to like throw away his friendship of 20 plus years. If he's willing to do that, he fucking sucks. Yeah. So they both well, deserve each other. He's pussy whipped. I guess, but God damn. Whoopch. 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 Ew. <laughs> Vagina. It's a whip. I'm, a, I'm being a whip. Oh, of pussy. You're being a pussy. I'm the pussy. You're the yeah. whip. I'm doing, oh, and I'm just a puss. I can't really do like the Indiana Jones sound. <laughs> I'm not a good um sound person. Not a good imitator. A sound imitator. Yeah. It's like those people sound do the sound effects, like walking. Oh, um, yeah. With the heels. Those are really cool. That's so interesting. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense, obviously, like, because you can't get the sound of someone walking when they're walking. <laughs> I know. You know, you don't really think about no. it. Yeah. It's so weird so weird yeah and then like perfecting it and that being your job yeah would love to just like watch sit and watch someone do that for like I a think, whole afternoon i can't remember if it was universal i think it was warner brothers like when i did a tour of that there was like a room you go in and like watch videos of people like doing that there's also a bunch of tiktok accounts that are like just no that. i've seen the woman on tiktok yeah i think we've seen the same woman she's the woman yeah i think she does like woman. all the sound effects in hollywood yeah Speaking of shows, we have one more Better Call Saul episode and it's completely done. Oh, it's, wait, I thought you were finished. No, we got one more left. Oh, no. Wait, did you... Is it aired or you're, like, waiting for it? Yeah, it's, it's all done. Like, it's already... We watch, like, an episode every day, pretty much. That's it? <laughs> yeah, we, like, get in bed, watch an episode. Oh, my That's God. Pretty much it. Um, it's really nice how they're, like, round, like Breaking Bad's in it now. Like, it's, it's fully, like, crossed oh. over. And it's weird because it's after breaking bad and before breaking like it keeps going in between but the black and white episode the black and white sections of the episodes are after breaking bad 
so you know exactly like i actually don't know what you're saying because <laughs> better call Saul is the pre it's like all about what, are you talk- what about the black and white so remember well at the end of breaking bad no, saul goes into that one like hiding thing where you change your identity okay. and he gets sent to omaha nebraska to be a cinnabon manager at the mall and it's in black and white. it's all in black and white so you know like Got it. what you're watching um yeah and it just goes back and forth it's really interesting like oh so it's so good is the are all of the episodes like parts of it are black and white not till the very end of the last season there'd be a lot of like intros that were black and white and him working at cinnabon and you can tell it's like the after breaking bad section Mm -hmm. because like he also looks way different like he's way more balding he has like glasses he looks a little different yeah but i'm just sad it's one of those shows that i'm gonna be like well it really like there's nothing good on tv now so hold on to it for as long as you can only watch like a minute a day (laughs) a minute (laughs) one minute every day to hold on to it for as long as it's okay we've got love on the spectrum (laughs) No one's good too. <laughs> no, no, but there's nothing like the show, and uh, I'm just so sad. But yeah, no, I'm having a really hard time. There's just nothing good on TV at the moment. Sub Love is blind. Yeah, but that's like a blink of an eye. Truly, I know. Everyone's saying I should watch The Sopranos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll watch that after. I feel if you like those shows, you gotta like The Sopranos. Okay, then maybe I'll do that. I think I have like such a weird vision. Like when I hear The Sopranos, in my mind, it's only about like again like a mob yeah but like there's no so- like i know there's gonna be side stories it's gonna be interesting to me like love plots and like weird you know yeah. a bunch of plots in my mind it's so flat and i think that's why i never really watch movies because i just assume i, would I think actually I know it's be about. interested i like don't know like i feel like you would like it but i also don't know I'll, i mean i'll probably try it you gotta try and we'll let me it. know okay is it like a darker show or like in what way like sad Mm, not sad but like you're not happy watching it okay <laughs> well breaking bad i'm not really happy watching yeah it's like that vibe. but it's also like they've yeah like they're literally the moments. mafia <laughs> yeah yeah the sopranos okay well good to know well we've been over about an hour i and think half. it's on hbo okay we've got that i think woke up this morning by yourself a gun. Song? yeah by yourself a gun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how old is that or was it, was I there a it was movie? Oh, was there also a movie? I have no Maybe idea. Maybe it's just a show. I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's the been around Sopranos forever. Sopranos movie? I don't think so because, uh, no, I don't think so. Cause I think James Gandolfini died. Oh, okay. I think it, I've just heard about it forever. I've always thought it was a movie. Let me see. <laughs> the Sopranos movie? Mm, no. Mm, okay. Yes. The Many Saints of Newark. No, that's not. I, I think it's, it's the show I'm thinking of. Oh, that's young Anthony Soprano's growing up. It's like a movie about the child. It's like the prequel. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, maybe I'll, we'll start that then because I'm Let liking this when the vibe. Sopranos came out. 1999. Oh my God. <laughs> that's wild. It'll probably it, feel nostalgic then. Um, with like the phone. Jamie Lynn Sigler and uh, she's his daughter in the show and her and the brother in the show. They have a podcast together oh. now. They talk about episodes. I think so. Classic. I know. Like every <laughs> yeah. show's doing that. Yeah. We start Ugh. doing that with our videos. Well, so iconic. 2015. Yeah. <laughs> Just an iconic show. Yeah, you should watch that. <sighs> All right. Well, anything else? Hmm no i kind of have to pee i don't <gasps> can you believe i haven't had a sip of water the whole That's time though no. are I you can feel dehydrated? something like brewing <laughs> oh yeah my pee is orange oh god you better Straight drink that one orange yeah i need to drink i only had a matcha this morning oh you saved yourself for the pod That's so nice of you oh you should also watch nurse jackie oh i know i think i started what? it so long ago but i just like never i don't think it's on streaming anymore though damn it was like when you were watching it like our oh, old apartment. It's so good. I want to like rewatch it. Yeah. I feel like I'd like it too. Cause it's, it's like she commits crimes, correct? She's a nurse who's a drug addict. Right, right, right. So I'm assuming so it, gets technically, pretty, yeah. it gets pretty like heavy <laughs> but, and hectic. Yeah, but she's not like murdering people. Okay. Um, yeah. Like I wouldn't, she's not like a criminal in the sense of she's like doing, like doing bad, bad things, things to people. It's, yeah. So she's it. a criminal in the sense that she's like stealing drugs from the hospital <laughs> okay yeah oh my god love that and edie uh, edie falco is just such an amazing actress <laughs> yeah she's the one that i mixed with 
the um, Shark Tank girl. Shark Tank. I don't remember. Shark Tank. Barbara. Yeah. Probably. Probably. It was. It was remember. three of them. It was those two and one other. That I'm like, they all look the same. Yeah, she's so good. They're the same people. But she's in The Sopranos too. She's Tony Soprano's wife. Oh, okay. So, maybe watch The Sopranos first. Okay. Oh God, I have a lot. I still don't watch Sweet Life. <laughs> what was the other one you were like oh potomac but i didn't watch any of those i haven't watched at all i watched like the first three episodes this season it's bad now oh okay lots of housewife stuff porsche's coming back i know you don't watch atlanta but that's really exciting i know the name marlo <laughs> is canceled um, oh, what did marlo do they just didn't renew her contract oh i thought you meant like she got canceled canceled like she oh did no no she's i love her um i saw that candy's leaving atlanta is gonna get like a whole new little uh facelift if you will (laughs) bring back kim zolciak and then i will be happy yeah bring back kim olziak you should really watch the traders everyone everyone is saying that to me my pilates instructor i've been telling you for years i last season i was like you need to watch where is it peacock okay i want to see your peacock peacock your peacock i'm on your peacock correct you have ads still (laughs) Yeah, can't TJ, watch it TJ downgraded <laughs> us i know he did it wasn't it like the free thing where you thought it was yeah he got like duped that that happened with hulu for oh, cyber people. monday so basically they were doing this thing where it's like if you sign up for hulu t- today you'll get a free year but people didn't realize so people were with canceling ads. yeah people were canceling their memberships being like oh i'll just re-sign up yeah and there's ads so see so did that with peacock, peacock which yeah, is it was like with like shipped or something aren't the ads only at the beginning though no oh but it was weird because when I watched the holdovers, like there was no ads. Okay. But it's like movie, during though. every, t- they're literally like 60 seconds. It's oh, not okay. like YouTube TV. Okay. Because when we watched Mad, I mean, that was on freebie Mad Men, but there would be like some commercial breaks that or ad breaks that would be like two and a half minutes. And we'd be like, oh, oh that is a lot. That is a full no, that's, ass that's ad a break. full ass commercial no, break. I can handle the like 50, 60, <laughs> 60 seconds. I just like mute the TV and look at my phone for a sec. Yeah. And um, then you get so far into your phone. They're like, oh shit. And then you forget. Yeah. To <laughs> but um, yeah, the Traders is the best. I've said it and I'll say it again. The best show on TV. Yeah. And people are coming around because I've heard it from like everyone recently. Wow. Or like I've seen it a lot on social media more recently. Good. I'm glad that it's getting the recognition. The it hype deserves. it deserves. Just and like us. Phenomenal <laughs> cast. It's so funny. All of the memes online. Ugh, so fucking funny. Well, I'll have to watch because I don't know anything about yeah, it. It's so easy. Okay. Is it like shorter episodes? No, they're like an hour. Okay. But it's just an easy watch. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I feel like you would like it. I'm sure. But also hard to tell. <laughs> it's not because it's not like. It's like a game show. But like also reality but like if i can connect with the characters that's all i yeah, really no, need it's so funny yeah <laughs> yeah i also think it like is help like there's a lot of real housewives on it so it's like oh. i know and the thing is like the people i don't know i'm like who the fuck is this <laughs> and like they annoy me yeah but it's like i think that a lot of people who watch like i think most of the characters are there's a ton of bravo people on this season oh there was bravo people last season there's big brother people this year so they've getting they're getting a lot of viewership from that um i think survivor and then like a bachelor any streamers so it's like, <laughs> jason jason ash no they're like all tv people there yeah. is like one guy though who's like a politician in the uk or something what and everyone's like fuck? where did he come from what the hell yeah so it's like they're getting all of their fan bases to watch from different like big shows but so like so smart uh, for me i'm like if all the bravo people weren't on it like would i like it as right much? or if like there were people on it that i didn't recognize yeah how would it be for me yeah well because it started in i think the uk and i think they have an australian version so maybe i'll try to watch one of those yeah and see if you're like into it without knowing anybody because i like know a lot of the people's person like ct is on it from real world road rules i never like watched it my god he's like an icon i watched real world a lot but like could not tell you anyone oh my god how do you not know ct you don't know johnny bananas either no, but you've brought him up. I and have. Yeah. I feel like me and TJ were like, who? This is like revoke your millennial card. <laughs> but fine. Grounds for revoking your millennial <laughs> Wait, card. Wait, so am I going to Gen X or am I Gen, or Gen X or You go Gen Boomer. Z? 
I go boomer, not even Gen X. Straight to boomer. So I'm skipping a whole generation. Yeah. Okay. Well, because I think Gen X would know. Oh, I yeah. I feel like CT's like- in Gen X would know, probably yeah. the best. Yeah. So it was like early 2000s, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder what season, I think it was definitely on the real world. Or it world sounds familiar. Okay, I will be honest, CT from the real world sounds familiar. Let me look him up, see what he looks like. Yeah, You're no. just saying this because you really don't want to be a boomer. No, I really don't know who this person is though. <laughs> When I type in, how did you find, oh. I said CT real, real world. world. Okay, he does look familiar in some of these pictures, like older pictures. Oh my God, babies, look at him. Yeah, Johnny Bananas was on the show too. Oh, okay, that's why I don't know. I mean, I watch real world, but like very rare, rarely. And also <laughs> it's been so fun, it's like 20 years since I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, but he's like, he was on it and then he has been like a staple oh. on MTV since. Oh my God. Yeah. They're still cranking out these shows. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Like the challenge. That's true. There's not real world anymore, right? No. People will just go on for TikTok followers now. Oh, really? Of course. Oh, oh, they would only go on. Like now. I was like, wait, they can't get on the challenge. <laughs> no, no, no. They're all like, people, like if yeah. they did real world. No, but I'm like real world is like, it's like, no, we're living in it. <laughs> like we don't need a, we don't need another real world. We know what it is. I want to. Oh my God. But He's I, won the challenge six times. And his shit. challenge winnings have amounted to $13 million. Oh my God. How much do they win on the challenge? Wait, I'm sorry. That's not a number. Huh? 13 million? Like it's, but look at the middle of it. It just says 63. 13,000,000, 13, 63,000. Yeah, but there's no zero. Yeah, that's weird. So like, what number are we writing? It literally says 13 comma six, three comma zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Got it. Together. Maybe it's supposed to be 63, but they didn't put the zero in front of the 63. Yeah. But they're, they, meant to, they meant to. I just wanted to see like what um, was his first season. Oh, what real world? I think, was 2002. It like the, was it like the first real Vegas. world? Vegas. Oh. Oh no, wait. CT debuted. Oh, okay. Trishelle, she's on the traders and she's like a real world girly too she was on in 2002 and then he was on in 2003 you know theo vaughn was on road rules oh i didn't but that absolutely tracks yeah him and um tom what's his name the uh your mom's basement podcast tom segura and his wife uh his wife was on theo season i believe of like they're road both on rules it. yes first season of real world i'm gonna piss myself oh well we can go okay well oh, 1992 oh my god <laughs> so like that's when he was on it no he was in 2003 oh i was like oh that's when god. the first one ever aired oh wow just little babies well thank you guys so much for watching listening supporting make sure to subscribe to our patreon if you want any bonus content that is patreon.com slash only friends and make sure that you're listening to our other podcast good influences you can look for that anywhere you listen to pods thank you guys and we'll see, see you soon bye